My name is Daniel Kumlin. Um, I study computer science and uh, artificial intelligence at IE. I'm from Sweden, but I grew up in Monaco for my entire life. And then I moved to Switzerland for boarding school. And then I eventually came here to Madrid to study at IE. So my motivations for choosing this degree is that I've always just loved building stuff. And so when I was finished with high school, I was like, okay, I really like software, I want to build cool stuff, let me do computer science. I think a lot of how I operate as a person is this concept called modularity. I plan out my entire day block by block. Understanding how to abstract, this is something that I've, I think, come to uh, think as a result of me doing a lot of problem solving from day to day especially within programming. I think it's very, very important, especially if you're someone who um, is at the computer as much as I am every single day, to have hobbies in sports. For example, if I'm in Sweden or Monaco, one of the main things I love doing is driving boats. Because um, in Sweden, you can just do that. It's very common. And another thing I've, I really like doing in Sweden is fishing. If I'm in Switzerland, for example, and I'm in a mountain area, then I love skiing. A fun fact is that I learned how to do off-piece skiing before I can learn how to carve. The adrenaline I do get nowadays is for when I do powerlifting by myself when I go to the gym. It's very slow, the amount of time that you see progress, but it's kind of like this like nice process of like, okay, if you do do this X amount of time, then you'll see some sort of progress. Last year in Tech Venture Bootcamp, I signed up with a project management tool specifically for these solo developers, which is going to help them actually take on more projects by streamlining how they manage documents. And we actually won that, um, that event. I think my first experience at Segovia was very interesting. I could go to uni in a 15 minute walk, my friends were all maximum 20 minutes away from me by walking. And it, it felt like we were kind of in this town of us all living together. In Madrid, it's a bit different, you know? Of course, it's, you can have these types of scenarios, but it's not as connected, specifically within IE, um, as it was in Segovia. And I still think to this day, the people that I met in Segovia are still my closest friends now. At the end of the day, what I really want to do is my own company where I solve a real problem that I myself have experienced or someone close to me have experienced and that actually provides them a solution that has value to them, especially in more of a very highly performant small team. That's like my largest goal that I have in life. In most cases, if you want to do something alone, there's a certain limit. If you want to, you know, go a little bit faster or actually increase the quality of certain stuff that you make, I think working in a team is great. I think another valuable thing that I've learned in IE is they taught me how big the world is. And so kind of exposing you to this world, understand for myself what I'm up against.